All right, next Saturday, folks, or this coming Saturday, we have the church clean up, and we always be here at 10 o'clock. So we expect you all to be here. Bad weekend. Bad, yeah, bad. What's next weekend? Well, Dick, Dick and Martha usually bring mulch, and they've got well, trucks, so I don't know. It's a bad weekend. Well, you guys going? Well, we scheduled this thing, what, a month or two ago? We haven't been in a week. Right? Well, well, we always do it the day before Mother's Day. We've done that for years. I think we should do it the day before Father's Day. <laughs> 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 if you do hot, then. I mean, the ladies... How many of you it's so bad that we have to reschedule it? Mm -hmm. I don't say not until June 19th. No, no, June go, just go, up, go one week past Mother's Day. What's, what's the Saturday after that? Um, 21st. No, 14th. 14th. Okay, what have we got going on the 14th Saturday? I, Okay, how many of you, that's a better day for most of you, the 14th. Yeah. Raise your hand. Okay. All right, we'll reschedule that for the 14th. Okay. For the 14th. Lord willing. Lord willing. Then we got... What else do we have there? Okay. The 24th, the tea party. Well, that last meeting was really good. If you missed it, you really missed a good meeting. I mean, it was powerful. And old Judge Grindel, he kind of laid it down, didn't he? Yeah. And Skip Claypool, really, we had the parks people there. They didn't say a word, did they? Okay. They, they didn't do anything. No, well, they took notes. They were right there. Yeah, that's all they got to do is take notes. And, and uh, Judge Grindel says to us later, how come you were sitting with the enemy? Well, <laughs> I made it very clear that you know that they wanted to ask questions that we'd find after he's finished speaking, but no, not to interrupt any of the speakers. And, uh, see, that's what they like to do. They like to start to interrupt the speaker, okay? But if they were going to do that, they were going to be escorted out. And I was going to be the first of the escorts. So, anyhow, so... We have this stuff. And those jewelry boxes from uh, okay, we have a death row inmate at uh, Franklin Medical Center. Death row inmate named Scudder. He's got one leg, and he and he's trying to raise enough money because the other one <coughs> there is pretty much dying. So he made these caps. Why don't you show him the caps? Okay. He's got jewelry boxes. He's trying to get about. He's got trying those to get jewelry boxes. If somebody would make, he'd like to have ten dollars for these caps. He needs about a hundred. Oh, put one on. Kids. He needs about a hundred dollars <laughs> altogether for. Uh, awesome. <laughs> would you please stand up and model? Walk with the guy in the aisle. Good. Made these leather moccasins. He's got leather moccasins and. They're not really that big. They're most of them. They're men's size. Size 13 double E. Now they're. But what's he want for the boxes? Ten dollars? Uh, well, I think I think the kits cost him about twenty oh. for, for the moccasins. Oh wow! Oh, oh, more. Oh, that's that's really why. Anyhow, if anybody can help, you can help them out. Uh, maybe we might just. Send them a donation and then and try to sell these things.